All right, with this next video, uh, we want to go in and um, help him out with his wrinkles. Now, if we go in and use the same tool that we just learned, the uh, clone tool, I'm going to make a new layer, make sure it's on all layers, and then hold Alt and click to the area I want to copy, and then click and drag. Um, the clone tool doesn't always work for what we're trying to copy, especially when we get into skin tones, because uh, you've got to be really exact on the tone that you're trying to copy into where you're putting things. So instead of using the clone tool for this, we are going to look at the healing brush, also known as the band-aid tool with the band-aid icon there. The healing brush works the same way, where I want to have a new empty layer, and have in the options it's set to all layers so I can do this non-destructively. But now if I hold Alt and click and then come down and click and drag and move my way across, when I let go it does a blend. So it does a little calculation afterwards to make sure that things will match up with what you're copying from and where you're trying to put it. So just like the clone stamp tool, I'm going to go around and choose what I want to copy, where I want to put it to. Something's going on right there, so I'm going to fix that right there. Okay, I'm going to come down to uh, his eyes here. So I could continue to do this section with the clone stamp tool, um, or excuse me, with the healing brush. So if I hold Alt, click on an area that's okay and then come in work on some of these wrinkles that are in here that's one way to do uh, larger areas like this but on this other eye I'm going to show you another tool which is the um, patch tool and with the patch tool you can go in and click and drag and select an area that looks like it needs to be fixed and then drag it down oh it's yelling at me could not use the patch tool because the selected area is empty I'm still active on this layer here where we copied our extra stuff in with the healing tool because we're doing it non-destructively so here's the funky thing. How do we do this non-destructively if this uh, patch tool wants to go right to the photo itself? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to my background layer and I'm going to right click and duplicate that layer. That way, with me being active on that copy, I can then click inside that patch that I selected, drag it to an area that's okay and let go and it does a blending just like um, the healing pr brush did. So once again I'm going to select an area that needs some help, click inside it, drag it down to the cheek where it's a little bit smoother, control D to deselect, and I've taken care of some of those wrinkles that are happening there. But because I did that on an extra duplicated layer I can still get down to the original stuff. Let's grab those little bit of wrinkles right there and take care of that also. Okay, so healing brush and the patch tool. Now our problem right now is we've fixed this so much that we've wiped probably 20 years off when really we want things to be more subtle. We only want to shave off like 10 years. Um, really easy to do if you've been doing this non-destructively. So I'm going to click on layer 1 which has the stuff we used the healing brush with and I'm just going to come to the opacity and start turning the opacity down. See how those wrinkles are starting to show up again? I'm looking up here at the forehead and underneath the eye you're kind of like, well, Lisa, what's the point? Uh, why did we fix it in the first place if we're just going to bring the wrinkles back? Well, if I hide layer one, look at how bad the wrinkles were to begin with. 
and then I show layer one again, and it's just more subtle, the fix. The wrinkles are still there, but they're not as bad. I'm going to come down to this background copy where we used the patch tool and do the same thing. I'm going to turn that opacity down so that we've got a little bit of those wrinkles, but if we hide it, you can see they're not as deep and pronounced as they were the first time. So again, non-destructive editing. We're making our fixes on extra layers. And we used the healing brush. And we also used the patch tool to do this. Uh, make sure you save your file as a Photoshop file. And name it Wrinkle Guy and your name.